right, welcome back, everybody. What a fantastic crowd. We really want to thank our live studio audience here at the Jeffrey Theater. Thank you guys so much for supporting our show tonight in San Diego. We have a bunch of prizes to give away for them, including this. We have a pair of tickets to Tacotopia uh, coming up September 3rd. Tacotopia. If you want to win prizes like that, just get your tickets to our show at tonightinsandiego.com. Our next guest, you can hear him mornings on 92.5. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Jagger and Christy. Down. Down oh, back. fantastic. So, Jagger and Christy and Bodie, Bodie. I, should have Bodie. Said, I should have introduced. The Bodie, Bodie makes it sure that no one's going to look at us at all this entire interview. <laughs> Bodie steals the show. Don't look at him, yeah. <laughs> Bodie's the good looking one. Bodie is like the Keith of the yes. dogs. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. He is. So, Bodie, I heard that Bodie is a surfing dog. Is that true? He is. Well, actually, he's a retired surf dog. Okay. Did you know there was such a thing? I, I didn't. Well, I didn't. then you probably don't know that he's in the Surf Dog Hall of Fame. Really? There's one of those, too. <laughs> oh, there's a picture. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, there he is. There he is, surfing right there. Yeah. Yep, there he take is. Take him out on the board. He does a lot of work for Helen Woodward Animal Center. They do a big surfathon, and they raise money for the dogs. Yes. And so, Bodie's been raising money all his life. And, and there he is on the surfboard. He's now he surfs for fun. How did you teach him, or did he? I mean, with a name like Bodie, I guess it should be natural to right? be a surfer. But he, you yeah. know, Helen Woodward asked us to participate in a clinic, and we're like, oh, hey, this is kind of fun. And then all of a sudden, one thing led to another, and they're like, well, why don't you come down for the competition? And we're like, okay, well, we might as well put him in it. And he did good. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, oh my God, look, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> So Bodie does tricks as well he uh, does. on top of. You ready? Do you want to do one now or you want to wait? Can I think we, we should. I think we should wait. wait? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's never it. done this. He's never done it on TV. He's never oh, done wow. it publicly. And it could go terribly wrong. Okay. <laughs> so we should probably <laughs> save it for the end. Well, we had a wolf and a pony take a dump on the show. So well, I that's think, good. Uh, that's good. I think you'd be yeah. all right. Well, yeah. he's potty. But, yeah. Okay. So uh, let's get back to you guys. So it was fun this morning. I got to uh, call in to the radio at 6.30 this morning. Actually, the producer called me. I was like a minute from waking up. Right. And uh, I was just about to. I was just right about to get I was like right in the middle of a dream where, I, this is true, I was, I was playing basketball against Sam the Cooking Guy. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, and we were like, what? Did you really do that? No, that was no, a dream. No, that was a dream. Yeah. But yeah. I thought it was real, so I was well, like, know, I was about to dunk on Sam. Here's you know? the thing, when, when you hung up, we went to traffic with Tori, our traffic girl, and she was like, why is Jesse dreaming about <laughs> Sam the cooking guy? That is a good question, Jesse. I said, you know what? I wasn't going to ask. Listen, he makes good eats. You know right, what I'm exactly. Saying? Has anyone else ever had Sam the cooking guy in their dream? No. No. Has anybody ever dreamed about Jesse? Just this guy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, I'll take it. Almost <laughs> misconnection with Sam the cooking guy, but oh well. So you guys actually have been doing uh, uh, radio on the air together for 21 years now. Yes. Yeah. Right? So. Don't leave me hanging. I'm sorry. I oh, don't leave you hanging. Almost another. We've actually one. been doing radio in this town for so long that that picture right there is actually us. That's you guys. That's really us. That's amazing. <laughs> That's us. Six uh, afternoon and then 15 in the, in the morning. morning. We yeah. started doing mornings in 2002. So you like mornings better, obviously? I mean, like, like for me, it was yeah. a little tough. That was about the earliest I've ever... I usually can, I can get to sleep by 6.30, but yeah. it's hard. You know. Well, yeah, the hours are different, uh, but uh, it, it's fun, though. It's, it's a fun time to be on the radio because you're getting people to work and because, you know, they're grumpy. So you got to try to make them make happy. Them yeah. Happy. So Lots we, of coffee. Oh, yeah, okay. We do yeah. that. We make them happy. Play some good music. Play a little War of the Roses and off. Yeah. They go. Tell me about that. This, that is a very popular segment with you guys. Yeah. War of the Roses. Jesse, Been doing I, it for years. Here's the, we don't I, get I, it. Here's the thing. If anybody ever calls you, Jesse, and offers you a dozen free roses, yeah. just hang up. Who just would hang you send them to? Yeah, Who just would you send them to? Who would I send a dozen roses? Yeah. yeah. I'd send them to Marianne, my girlfriend. Well, there you go. That's pretty good. All right. A lot of times that doesn't happen. 
a lot of times that doesn't happen. That doesn't no. happen. So you get people on the air, and then they give the wrong answer. They get in trouble, basically. Yeah. Right. Right. What happens is, if you think someone's cheating on you, you can always email us, and then what we do is we call your boyfriend or the girlfriend, whoever uh, you think is cheating, while they're on the phone, and we offer them roses. So when you say Marianne, but you should have sent them to Julianne, Julianne's on the phone <laughs> going, who the is Marianne? Marianne. Yeah. But and by then, the time these people have gotten to us, yeah. the relationship's already way on the skids. I got yeah. you. So, like, if you called me and I were to be like, oh, a dozen roses to Sam the cooking guy for sure. That would be. Oh, okay, yeah. that's, that's a whole cool. other show. That Mary was, Ann's that's not a, having it. Whole she's on other the show. other line. Yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever helped a relationship with this? Yes, yeah. I think we have. Yeah, good. I think we have. There's I think, a lot of. You know, people who send them to the right people, and you know, it's kind of a lovey thing, and yeah. it's like a big oh. Oh, so it really reinforces the relationship. So yeah. it could go either way on yeah. the show. But, but you I'll, say, I'll be honest, people really want to hear the fighting. They want to they hear fighting. They love the drama. Oh my gosh, yeah, you so get them to actually fight on the air over yes. it? No, we don't have to get them. Oh, we, no, we don't have to. Do no, they t do that on their own. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Now, you, as far as relationship go, you guys met on the air. You were an on-air team first, and then mm -hmm. right. fell in love. Isn't yeah. that right? That's you know, how one of the stories go. And I'm, I'm just, Aww. kind of. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get real mushy right here. I don't normally do that, but I, you know, you've heard the phrase "love at first sight," and you think, oh, that's just a phrase. Holy mackerel! This right here I, was Aww. love at first sight. She was. She was wearing. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Because I was wearing cowboy boots. She was wearing cowboy boots. She had a cut off. What is the thing with the the things here? The, oh, I bib overhauls. It was yeah, the '90s. Right. Say. Cut off overhauls and a white T-shirt. And I told the guy I was doing afternoons with at the time up in San Francisco. I said, "Oh my God." I said, "Will you keep an eye on me? Because this girl is incredible." Aww. And so that was then. That was you know the rest is history. Wow. Twenty year wedding anniversary in September. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh my I feel like we should kiss. <laughs> oh. I love that. So it's probably been an exciting run then since it was Love at yeah. First Sight. It's like, it's got to be a thrill to get to work together well, you know, and do the show. Well, that's the funny thing. It's we had the hardest time getting people to put us together as a show. She had worked with people before. I had worked with people before, people I'd never met. But for whatever reason, just because we were dating, they and were we kind of And we said we wanted to do a show together. They're like, they were, well, I don't know if that would work. But, so the, you know, so we the first time the we got put together, what was the stipulation? Well, if it didn't work out, Krista, you got to find another job. And I stay. So I was always safe. Yep. Isn't that awesome? You were always safe. I was no. the safe. Yeah. Oh my God. Sorry, Christy, you'll well, have you know to what? go. I, it didn't really bother me. I just kind of laughed because I thought, oh, this is going to be fine. You were sure it was yeah, going to work. I, really oh, I really was. I really was. That's good. You had some yeah. confidence there. The, yeah. After the first week we were on the air, we sat at home and cried. We were so <laughs> bad. We were, we so, were so bad. Awful. We thought we were going to be so good, and we were so <laughs> bad. Oh, wow. Uh, but then it straightened well, out. Well, I mean, you know, you were here when I, I, I used to be co-host, so things have, have moved. Have right, yes. That's right. I was, right. you're doing great. Oh, yes. thank you. Jesse! But, I mean, I was bad when we started. I would just interrupt you from behind you. Yeah, you would. I was, you would freak me out because yeah. I never was sure what... Now that's my job. What's going on? <laughs> oh, my God. Now he's behind us. See? I can't do that scary face, yeah, though. That's pretty good. Ooh, so, yeah. So after 21 years, there must be some uh, super fans of, of the team, right? You get call-ins from people that you know. <laughs> they're right here. Right here. They're There's here. All, they're all here. All Stand six of them. Um, yeah, you know, there's people that, that call all the time that we've known throughout the years um, that come out to the events and stuff. And, I mean, we don't, bring, we don't invite them to the house or anything, but, right. but we, you know, it's nice but to see them. Yeah. But, you, yeah, but you invite yeah. them to these events. You actually yeah. have done so much charity for San Diego. For people that don't know, uh, these guys have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for a number of different charities, including Make-A-Wish, Radies Children's Hospital, San Diego Food Bank, Neighborhood House Association, tons and tons of these. And the new, and the, and the one, the big one of the year is Christmas Wish, Christmas right? Wish, right. Well, well, you know, the that. thing about it is, is that this is such a great town for giving. And it's not, it's, we didn't raise the money. It, you guys raised the money. Yeah. You facilitated. Anytime we ask San Diego for a favor or money or whatever, everybody comes through. It's such, that's why we just love this town. It's such a great, it's the big small town. Is well, what it and is. the reason that we wanted to do Christmas Wish was because we have raised money for a lot of these other major organizations that are, in, that are national. And we wanted to make sure that money that we raised went locally. 
right here to people in San Diego and the Toronto County that needed the help. And that's what Christmas Wish does through the Magic Foundation. We're grateful to our company, who some of them are here tonight, oh. for supporting us. Tremendous. And you guys have a really uh, exciting uh, purple cruise coming up. Yes, this is yes. Friday night. Yes. For the yes. people who don't know, this is coming up this Friday night to honor Prince. It's Prince, a, yes. yes. We, did it, we did it last year, and it was great. This year it's sold out in like a, just a couple of weeks. It's completely sold out now. But it's all purple. We have a Prince, a Prince band on there. And we and, asked people to wear purple, and honest to God, I had a moment where I kind of teared up when people were boarding because I was like, oh, my God, they all wore purple, every single one of them. We have the Wild Side Band uh, going to be on board doing Prince cover songs and stuff, so it's going to be great. That's and, and Prince Karaoke. Oh, should be, I love that. Yeah. I'd be into that. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? That'd be when those dubs cry, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if we could take it out, we're running out of time, but okay. do we have time to see you a voting ready? trick? Okay, okay right, let's go, see. Here go. we go, a voting all right, trick. All right, here we go. Oh. All right. Ready. Come on, Bodie. Bodie, come here. Bubba. Bodie, come here. All right, Bodie, sit. This is not the trick. Bodie, sit. I was going to say, that Bodie, is up, amazing. Wait, Bodie. Do it up here, Mark. Bang! <laughs> uh, Bang! Bang. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. It's okay, you can come to life now. There you go. Good job. Give it up for Jagger and Christy, everybody. Let's hear it for them. Check them out, 92.5 in the mornings. We'll be right back right after this. More tonight in San Diego coming up. Thank you guys so much. That was fantastic. That was so fun. Best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and then we talk slow.